Welcome back to the Poppy Library, everybody. Grab your drink, let's chat about some yarn and some patterns, shall we? Lately, I have been completely devoted to finishing the Dear Bjorn socks in the 52 uh, Weeks of Socks book. I love the book. Um, I love knitting socks. It's just so there's something about this pattern that's taken me a while and I finally figured it out. Um, it's, it's a series of slip stitches and then it's a cable stitch that takes a slip stitch over and it gives you this beautiful pattern um, that looks like these slip stitches are being wrapped around your foot and then your leg. And it's really beautiful, it's super cozy, but it's taken me every piece of me to finish these two pairs of socks. A month, guys, a month. Um, but it's beautiful. I love knitting outside with it because you can really see the colors and I mean this yarn makes me so happy. It's beautiful. Um, I can't stop looking at it. It's it's wonderful. And these are toe-up socks so um, I actually really like them. You know toe-up socks are adorable. Um, you can see progress from the foot up and it also makes a little cute little nose. E. <laughs> but again I've been so I, I don't know why it's taking me so long, but definitely I was enjoying the beautiful weather that we had lately here in Central Texas and knitting by windows, just knitting outside, knitting, you know, cracking open a window, knitting next to it, um, knitting outside at night with a little light too. Really my jam, just enjoying the weather I, <laughs> that we had outside. It's no longer that warm outside anymore. Does anybody else wear their socks while they're knitting them just to see how they look? I'm not the only one, right? So these are now finished and blocked and um, just beautiful. Even the blocking process was beautiful. It was, the sun was setting. I decided I was gonna block them immediately after I finished them, which was in the evening and the light was so beautiful so i thought why not um my blocking process for socks are pretty easy it's pretty similar to everybody's i believe i just get a bowl fill it with some um non do not put hot water in there <laughs> non-hot water and i let them soak for a little bit um 12 minutes or so with a little bit of uh, wool wash i use soak and some holiday um, scent and it smells magical but um, I, yeah, let them soak for a little bit and then I wring it out and then I put them on the slack blockers. But the light was just giving me life while I was doing this and it was, it was the perfect setting to admire these socks in their last little phase before they get on my feet. Makes the blues pop, doesn't it? Looks like a fall sock, but I'm gonna wear it all year long, I don't care. I'm so happy with these. I would highly recommend that pattern in that book. It was wonderful. It wasn't challenging at all. It was very therapeutic. It's what I needed. Here's my little sidekick, Olive. She's with me all day long. <laughs> and she has been with me, oh, excuse you, excuse you. Um, she has been with me while I have been transforming our office into more of a yarn display area. Um, all of my yarn was in boxes recently and I finally got some shelves and put them up, put my art up, so I could see my whole inventory um, in my office while I work. And it's been very inspiring just to see the different colors right next to my desk while I do my nine to five. I even picked up and did a, a quick baby hat for a friend of mine. Did not take a picture of the final product, which I should have. 
So Chris, if you watch this, I'm gonna need a fancy photo from you, Mr. Photographer. <laughs> and funny story, the it was the baby bear bonnet by, uh, I think it's Petite Knit. And uh, this is me actually undoing a whole bunch of stitches because I messed up, oops. But you know, I fixed it, that's all that matters. Now on to the next project, am I right? I was so inspired by the inauguration and the beautiful purples that were in the coats that the women were wearing. I mean, Michelle Obama and um, <laughs> yes. So it inspired me to choose the sweaters quantity of this Aran Waite yarn um, so that I could knit up a new sweater, which is still to be determined what that is. I'll figure it out. But in the meantime, I thought, why don't I just make these into some cakes and start the creative process all over again to get me inspired to figure out what pattern am I going to use for this beautiful yarn. As I was filming this, uh, the seasons were starting to change. It was starting to get warm again. And my plants started sprouting really, really fast and growing really fast. This is my, the second phase of the winter garden. And everything started to explode. <laughs> and lo and behold, we are now in an, have a, an Arctic freeze headed our way. That's the winter storm of the season. So these plants are currently covered up. <laughs> they are not out like this right now. Um, the trees are covered in ice right now, but you know what? I'll take it. It's not 105 degree heat, and it gives me time to knit in some cold weather some more, so I'm thankful. And even if the trees don't blossom like this for very long, I'll take it anyway. <laughs> 